What is up, my brothers? Welcome to yet another video. I'm Maki, and we're gonna have a season four, bro. I can't believe it's been so many seasons in this football already. If we want to enter into the season four, develop design divine. What is in it? What is it about? And what do we have over here? We're gonna be checking out the things that's come out of the update. I have to make a disclaimer before this video starts because everything that is gonna be included in this video might not be everything that is included in the update. So in case I miss anything, put it in the comment section. Develop design divine and let us see the season four. Uh monumentum dribbling, uh game changing pass. But today we are focusing on game uh, monumentum dribbling rather. We have Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr. Mares and Mitoma. You can increase your slots from you know just keep increasing them. Uh 550, you can increase it to 900, which is the max. You can train any of your players, add additional skills to them, but it will be added randomly. So you cannot just pick any, you know, uh, training you want. You cannot give him a dipping shot if you want. You cannot give him a you know double touch if you want. It just doesn't work that way legacy transfer this is usually for base players from what i've heard i've not really tried it out yet there are some new models uh abba frankie de young and top stegan and the new season which is gonna kick up oh, brazilian asai you know so we have another trailer developed design defined this is in-game trailers showing the game modes and you know how it's active Bruno Fernandez, Liao, Saka, Zelinski, Bolster your team, uh, Neymar Jr. of course Showtime, you already know the Showtime players anyway, and Lewandowski, this is just like a gameplay trailer, there is nothing much exciting about it, just to show you different players, different phases, a really short trailer, that is that. I really wish you can download commentary in the background, but for now I'm just gonna skip that. The first thing we're gonna be looking at today is the player skills. Back in the days, players have a maximum of 10 skills, but right now you can add um, have a maximum of 15 skills. As you can see, this is the skill list of my Kafu. He has a flip flaps from Barrow, the rising shot, the weighted pass, pinpoint crossing, Rabona, Mama, a slide tackle, acrobatic clearance, and a fighting spirit. That is all my man has. But as you can see, you can have five more skills to him. If you click on this, you already know that his skill training program will be spent and i already only have one from the login bonus driver note that the player will not be able to learn his skill they already possess let us see what he gets it is taking forever bro outside color i mean it's not bad outside color shots are usually in the box but outside color passes can take place any other place in the page but you can see the graphical representation to tell you what the if you tap on it you can change it which is good i mean it's needed so you can't just give it uh penalty specialist chip shot control uh, gamesmanship no look pass all those dodgy skills and think i'm going to accept it so i feel like that is good but bro it's gonna take a lot of trainers to get the things you actually want but five is really good five is really good the next thing we're gonna look at is the player slots i'm very happy with this player slots used to be 500 but now when you click on add you can add as much as you want you know just keep on adding 650 players let's take it to 700 and i like the back in the days ogs we know like pass 18 back in the day kind of era you could add slots but the more you add player slots the more expensive it becomes so if you get like 800 player slots it could be costing you like a million gp or something like that but 900 is the maximum you cannot add here yeah, you cannot add more than 900 which is fair i mean it took a lot of gp but i mean it's worth it at the end of the day let us look at legacy transfer because all these card types are allied players you can do it for them but trending cards like all of these other players you cannot do it for them welcome to legacy transfer experience points carry over the selected players experience points will be carried over the selected players additional skills will be carried over so that's basically it this legacy transfer what it basically does or what is basically is is that let's look for a player in which we've not trained recently that we've not trained to the max level uh let's go with Barella, you train some players, you spend some uh, experience points on them to train them to different levels, use a lot of trainers on them, and now you don't use the players anymore. Or they're about to expire, you can just instead of releasing them, you can as well just transfer all their points from that player 
to another player so who am i not using varan for example I believe I've traded him to 91 at center back. I don't use him anymore. I don't really use him in the first place because I have a Derby Day highlight Varan. So I'm going to just click on Varan, transfer his points. It's more as if I'm releasing him. And yeah, the player is locked. I need to unlock him. So it's going to be released, and all his points, as you can tell, is going to be transferred to Barella because I'm going to be able to use Barella. But it's going to cost me GP. So as of this moment, I don't think, I don't know if it's worth it instead of just finding ways to get trainers to train the other players. I don't know if it's worth it. I cannot tell you as of now if it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it because you're going to lose a player and you're going to still have to spend GP to, you know convert the player to a legacy trans to do a legacy transfer away so another thing that has been added is the fact that players can now go higher than a uh, hundred previously back in the day is just hundred rated hundred rated hundred rated okay. <laughs> And you have a player that you're gonna be overall or rated over hundred I thought I had more than that I only have one player that's probably gonna go above 102 102 Cruyff I think that is good but I believe that is the only player any other player is getting to 100 I, I thought about that yeah well Gerard is also 100 rated so there isn't unless I'm gonna mess with a lot of things there isn't much else about that I believe we can go and play a game and see the in-game changes there are also some in-game changes I don't have commentary over here so you guys are just gonna have to bear with me let us go with one game in division 4 okay so this has also changed I mean it's changed to searching for an opponent not the way it used to be player skills shifters and goals back in the days if you tap this it's gonna change all right view more so not crucial you can be reading all of this while well, you know you are waiting for uh, an opponent uh, waiting for an opponent or something and then whenever it comes you're just gonna see the player which is really good i like that i think they removed the division of the player you are facing um yeah this is our team i used the last time almost a similar formation 3133 3, 3. you still cannot change the time the day or anything like that i really really don't like playing without commentary but you're just gonna pardon me for this match so here's what i want to show you you can now change your attacking and the defensive level i'm gonna probably make another video on that but one thing worthy of note is that if you go ultra attacking one of your center backs is gonna go to a striking position that's just something you need to know we have Julian Cruyff Tony shots should have probably made a pass and as you can tell in the bottom of the screen this guy see doesn't understand that that happens now Messi, good save. Most of the time, I believe I'll be going all out attacking because I, I take a lot of risks. It's a game you are meant to have fun, just do it. Tonali is my center back at this point. That's my DMF. My DMF is playing center back. I don't even know where my striker is, my defender is. Where the heck is he? That is him. That is Ruben Diaz. Look at where Ruben Diaz is. That is why I'm saying if you are using all out attack, that is probably what's going to happen most of the time. Your DMF is going to cover for you if you have a DMF. But that is what is going to happen all the time. Your defender is going to turn to a striker. Okay. Uh, why is he stop running? 3 against 1. Good pass. He messed up. Tonali covered that for me. Alright. The substitution screen change. It's now took away the scoreboard. That is another thing. I knew that was what was gonna be. Nah. I think if I just stood, my defender just stood. He didn't do anything. One nil down. It is what it is. Kavu. Ah, Good goal. Skip that. Yes, man. No, switch it. What is going on? Bro, that is bullshit, bro. Why is two of my players? And I stop. There will be five minutes at a time. Well, it's towards the end of the game. If anything's got to happen, it needs to happen now. 
Look at that. <laughs> Man just cleared it up. Look at that. Oh, and Sanjo just got pushed up the box. On goal. Not the best of goals, but I'm happy with that. Why is all my players kneeling that like they just called the winner of the World Cup final? I mean, that would have been an offside if Cruyff had touched it. Would have probably been an offside if Cruyff had touched it, but with the last kick of the game, we scoring. I messed up. Should have probably beat it this year conveniently. But it is what it is. Like, it's not a game I was, because there was no commentary, there was a lot of things going on. I played with a lot of players I didn't know I had. At the end of it, I got four shots to the end targets. So that's basically it. I thought they were going to change this, you know, to be able to see each player's individual stats. But it was not changed. Boom. Yeah. Apart from that, there isn't much thing other that was improved or added. I really should have killed this guy off while I was just messing about way too much. So that is that. That's majority of everything that is added. If I forgot anything, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, that is gonna be the end of that. Do take care of yourself. This has been one hour of recording. So I'm just gonna take a break and go and do other things as of now. Gonna catch you guys in another video tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Have a marquee. And peace out.